Welcome back to the 1987 Supermod. I'm your host as always, Brad Drake, and this is my AWA save. We are back home in Minneapolis, and we are ready to record two episodes of television. That's going to be one episode of Championship Wrestling on ESPN and one episode of All-Star Wrestling. So let's go ahead and take a look at our venue here. We have been using the Sports Pavilion. And just want to see if there's any other options out. We could run. Yeah, let's stick with the Sports Pavilion. It's been good to us. It's a nice crowd for television. And let's see if there's anything else going on. We got all protege work going on here, which is fine and dandy. That's a lot of protege work going. Oh, Sheiky's willing to put over Tom Zank. Thanks, Sheiky. Okay, we got a weird situation going on here. Not necessarily weird, but a different situation going on here. We are hosting the TV title tournament. So we are just going to have three matches and two promos for this week's tapings of Championship Wrestling and All-Star Wrestling. Okay? Remember, we film Championship Wrestling first, but All-Star Wrestling actually airs first. So in the second week, you can see where the final match will be the main event of Championship Wrestling, and All-Star Wrestling will have the semifinal bouts on there. So, with that said, let's give a rundown here. DJ Peterson is going to face Colonel De Beers in an opening round match. The Terrorist is going to face Billy Robinson in an opening round match. In our main event, we're going to have the feud of Bobby Duncan and Jerry Lawler play out in a match on television. And in All-Star Wrestling, we're going to have Steve Olskanowski face Rip Oliver in an opening round match. And Cactus Jack is going to face Greg Gagne in an opening round match. The main event of All-Star Wrestling this week is going to be the Midnight Express facing the Midnight Rockers. They've wrestled each other just a few times. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's get to booking. Peterson versus the Beers. I apologize, everybody, if my voice is a little rough. I have recorded several of these today, and uh, I'm a little bit scratchy here. So we're going to, in the title, we're going to let it know, be known that this is the TV title tournament. And, boy, that went quick. That lost my mind. Peterson versus De Beers. And this one's going to go 12 minutes. And it's DJ Peterson versus Colonel De Beers. And, of course, I forgot to do my homework. So now I have to check to see who wins. And, of course, you just saw the results of the tournament, but that's okay. I mean, what are you going to do? This is what we do. So, obviously, Colonel De Beers is going to get the win here. And, of course, he's going to get it by cheating. Now, television titles vary promotion to promotion of what their importance are and what their use are. The TV title was very well respected in the 80s in Jim Crockett Promotions. The TV title is also was also respected in the UWF. In the case of the AWA in its short-lived time with the TV title, it's a little difficult to talk about its importance because it didn't last a long time and they just kept it on uh, Greg Gagne. And they did put it on Ron Garvin briefly. So it's a little tough to talk about what its importance is going to be, but obviously I have it as a mid a mid card title. You know, it's it's nothing too special. So Sergeant Slaughter is going to do a promo here with Larry Nelson, and of course he's going to be talking about his nemesis, the Iron Sheik. And Iron Sheik is going to be off screens. So that one's booked up. The next TV title ma tournament match we're going to have. is going to be the Terrorist versus Billy Robinson. And I think you all know who the winner is here. I don't even have to look at that cheat sheet to know. <laughs> all right. 
there is Billy Robinson. Billy Robinson gets the win. Next, we got a promo from Jerry Lawler. That's going to be a six-minute promo, and of course he's cutting that promo on Bobby Duncan. They actually have a pretty nice feud going here. All right, Lawler's based on microphone, Duncan's off screen, and not rated, and that one is booked. So now we have Duncan versus Lawler. That one's going to go 14 minutes. It's our big main event here. And this one is going to go to a double DQ. Keep that feud hot. Okay, we are at 55 minutes here. Why don't we make the main event 16 minutes? And that'll give us 57 minutes. We've got three minutes overall. So 16. We could bump this up to 14 minutes. Yeah, that's good enough. So let's make that adjustment here. So we're going to go 16, 14. 16, 14. <laughs> Hitting the wrong thing there. So 16, 14. Okay, we'll make that save. Let's go ahead and run the show here. All right, we get a 72 for our opener of De Beers versus Peterson. Very nice. A nice 77 here from Sergeant Slaughter. Only a 66 for Robinson versus the Terrorist, and you know that's because of the Terrorist. And wow, Jerry Lawler scores a 100 on his promo. I think that's the first 100 for a promo I have ever had. Leave comments below. Let me know if any of you have ever gotten a promo 100. Wow, that is terrific. And our main event scores us a 91. What a difference, folks, taking it back home to Minnesota, huh? This is going to be an excellent score overall for our show. And we got across the board popularity increase, 87 overall. It's our highest TV show rating. And of course, this is a bit of hot shotting, and what hot shotting means is that we're putting big names on a card, and in this case, it's to push along the TV title tournament. So we already went over what the card's going to be here. So we have Olsonowski opening against Oliver. And I'm going to go ahead and copy that so I can paste it later. That's a 12-minute match. And obviously, I booked this out before I put Rip Oliver with Doug Summers, but that doesn't really matter at this point. We're giving Rip Oliver some nice exposure here. And, of course, Oliver is going to get the win here. And he doesn't need to cheat. All right, Wahoo McDaniel is going to cut a promo. And that's a five-minute promo. Eric Bischoff is going to be in there with him. And he's obviously cutting that promo on Wojciechowski, who he does not like. So microphone, unrated, off-screen. Bam, we're good on that one. So our next match here is Cactus Jack versus Greg Gagne. That one's going to go 14. Hopefully Cactus can go 14. And Greg Gagne is going to get the win. 
And we booked that one out. Okay. Next, we got Scott Hall giving us a promo here. And of course, Scott Hall is cutting a promo on none other than Kurt Hennig. And there's Eric Bischoff in between them. And this is why I always check. It's very easy to pick the wrong name. Um, off screen, booked. And our main event here is going to be the Midnight Express versus the Midnight Rockers. There we go. This one goes 14. We can auto name it. Just always put the C in for champion there. And we're going to have Shawn Michaels win by DQ. And that's going to be due to outside interference. And Shawn Michaels is going to get hit by Paulie Dangerously. Okay, so now we got All Star Wrestling booked out here. Oh, uh, the main event can be 16 minutes instead of 14. There we go. Right, we're going to start this show. Let's see how we do here. Olsonowski gets the win, 68 overall. That's pretty good. 60, 66, and a 68 overall. Not bad. No takeaways there. Good. Olsonowski rose in popularity like I hoped he would. All right. Ah, Wahoo only gets a 67 here. I was hoping he'd do better than that. Wahoo was always really good on the microphone. That's surprising that that would be that low. All right. Greg Gagne gets the win over Cactus Jack. Imagine that, huh? <laughs> yeah. Scott Hall only scores a 76 here. But he now has a new catchphrase. Everybody's got a catchphrase. In this save. That's disappointing that it was only a 76. I was hoping to score something in the 80s. But nothing I can do about it now. All right, and the Midnight Rockers here against the Midnight Express get an 80 for this match overall. Not bad at all. I don't quite understand that number. We should have surpassed 80. But I'm sure Randy Rose is sandbagging us a little bit. And there's some takeaways here as usual. So. Let's go ahead and finish this up and see how we do. Got a 77. Looks like we increased across the board. So, very well. All right, folks. That's going to do it for this episode. We have run our first two shows in our tournament. And we're going to go ahead and continue on the tournament tomorrow, next episode. And then we'll go into... Championship Wrestling, which will host the TV title tournament final, but will also be run like a regular card for the rest of the show. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, give us a like, share this video with your friends. Facebook.com slash group slash 1987. Make sure you join us over there. We're having a good time talking about everybody's saves and everything that's going on, and we'd love to have you join us. Last but not least, if you would like the Super Mod and you don't have it already, please go to braddrake.net, drop me a line. I'll be more than happy to send you a link to the Google Drive page where you can download the database and the picture pack. Take care, everybody. So long for now.